keep it, give it to somebody else. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Celicia Decoe, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications each time I post. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. So we're just going to get right on into it. So today it is what? January the 11th. I don't ever know what day it is. Uh, today is January 11th. This is my first video for the year 2022. And I'm in such good spirits. I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so much better. So at, at the beginning of the year, I was not feeling good. I don't know if one of Rona's little cousins, <laughs> what Amicron or whoever it was, came in because I was not feeling good at all. So I was feeling really, really down. Uh, I was in bed for like the first week of um the year and the last week of december of 2021 i was feeling i was just really really feeling bad but i'm feeling so much better and for anybody who doesn't know doing youtube it takes a lot of work it's not easy i thought that it was easy but it's a lot of work and i am a full-time business owner and I also want to grow my channel, so I'm learning new techniques. My daughter is teaching me <laughs> because she's the one who helps me with uploading my videos and creating my intro. She did a beautiful job with that, so I'm so proud of her uh, for making my intro and helping me every time I post or upload a video. So I had promised y'all that I was going to do a luxury haul, so... Today, I'm doing a luxury haul slash uh, what I got for Christmas. So, I'm going to show y'all what I got for Christmas and a luxury haul for some of the items that I purchased in 2021 because I'm I'm not going to show y'all every single thing that I purchased in 2021. It's, you just got to give people enough information. You don't have to give them all the information. So, I'm going to show y'all some of the items a lot of the items i already wore on social media or wore out uh, y'all probably have saw me in photos with these items so these are the items that i'm going to show y'all today and i also wanted to say i also shop at trade to see a lot before i was able to purchase luxury items full price so, um, if you feel like you want to get luxury items, but you can't afford them, you can also shop on Trade to I actually still sh shop at Trade to from time to time. I do not um, have a problem with shopping at Trade to They have um, um, nice items. You just have to look and see. Some items are damaged because some people buy those items and they know how to repair items, but they have items that aren't damaged. They have really nice quality and they are authenticated through trade to see so when when it when it ships directly from trade to see they do authenticate the items to make sure that they are authentic authentic luxury items so i love shopping on trade to see you can get a good a really good deal on trade to see so i i'm not showing the items that i have uh that i purchased from trade to see today so I can make another video where I show y'all all the stuff that I purchased from Trade to See over the years. And y'all will see that the, the items that I get from Trade to See are really, really nice. And I really take my time. And one thing I like about Trade to See is that you can you have three days to look over your item, to check its authentication. You have three days to, you know, feel like if, if you feel like you want to send it back. Within that time, you'll get a full refund of store credit for Trade to See. They won't send you back your cash, but they will allow you to send it back and get a full refund of Trade to See cash. So you have those credits. And I still have credits that, well, 
I think I might have used them recently, but I had cre credits on my account for like a year that I hadn't used for like over four hundred dollars, and I finally decided to go ahead and use my Tradacy credit and buy something that I wanted from Tradacy. So we're gonna go into the items. Okay, and I just want to say Tradacy does not pay me to say that they are doing a good job or they have good items. I'm just saying from my personal experience that they do have good items. But the items that I'm going to show y'all today are not from Tradacy. They are items that I went into the stores and purchased myself. Um, they're not used. They're not vintage. They're straight from whatever store they come from. <laughs> so... First, I'm going to show y'all some items that are like um, not uh, high-end luxury, just regular um, nice items. Like, um, So the first uh, item I'm going to show y'all is a Tory Burch bag. And this is like my everyday bag. I have like two everyday bags. This one and my coach bag are my everyday bags. So, this is the duster that it came in. Of course, it has a little Tory Burch logo on the bag. So, you can store your bag in the duster. So, this bag is actually in use right now. And I'm actually going to sell it, though. I'm going to sell this bag. So, I put it on my Poshmark store. I did finally set my Poshmark store up. So, if y'all want to check out items that y'all saw me um, show on other videos, it's all really priced reason reasonably. Reasonably priced. Like, my Poshmark store is reasonably priced. And I'm always going to be adding items on there. Stuff that I don't want. Stuff that I can't fit. Stuff that is good. You know, stuff that... Most of the stuff there is brand new. So this bag, I got this bag recently. I got this bag a few months ago. And I like this bag because I thought it looked like a cute little mini uh, Hermes bag a little bit. And I thought it was so cute. So it is by Tori Birch. I like the little, this little piece right here. And I also like that it had so many compartments. I love bags that have compartments. So this is just my backup mask. I always keep a backup mask in my purse. I'm one day I'm gonna just show y'all everything that's in my purse. <laughs> so it has three compartments. It has this compartment. It also has a little zipper, and then it has another compartment. This is my a little card thing. These are handy. I have, I had three. I have two now. They're from Victoria's Secret, but I keep all my credit cards, all my bank cards, debit cards, gas cards, everything in this little wallet. So this comes with this little strap here and this little handle. And I think it just looks so classy. It's leather and it is in really good condition. Again, I only had it for like a few months and I use it, but I'm not hard on it. So uh, this is called the Tor Tory Birch Walker Satchel in size small. And you see that it's not that small, but it's they have a bigger size. So this is the small size and it's really classy. That's why I like this purse. And it is for sale. It is on my Poshmark store. So y'all can go check that out. And I'm not going to add pricing to everything because it takes so much time. One day I'll get to the point where I start adding everything in the details and I'll be good with that because right now I am not. I work full time as a, a salon business owner and I have to try to make time for YouTube, but I really do enjoy doing it. I do it for fun. So y'all got to take notes. I took my notes right here. <laughs> so I, I'm, I have everything written here. So y'all have to take notes. If y'all see anything y'all like, y'all can go and purchase it. Y'all can see how much it costs because I did not put price in here. So y'all can go and check out some of the things that I'm showing y'all if y'all like anything. So this is my other everyday bag. It's a coach bag here. This is a coach bag. 
and I still love Coach. A lot of people don't carry Coach anymore, but I really love this bag. This is my everyday bag, and I, I have to switch out between my bags because this one is like a light bone color, and it could easily get stained, even though I'm not hard on my bags, as you can see. I bought this one a few months ago as well, and I think this one is really classy. When I go places, people tell me how cute this bag is. So one thing that I like about this bag is this gold little uh, logo piece here. And it's like heavy. I like really heavy gold items, if y'all haven't noticed. So this is like a, the Coach um, logo on here. And it just hangs off to the side. And it also has a little braided uh, shoulder strap. I like that part. And it also has this longer strap. And this bag also has three compartments just like the other one. And I thought this was so cute, how it has the coach um, logo inside and outside the gold emblem. And it also has the coach emblem inside. I don't know if you can see that, it's in there. So, and it has this zipper piece in the middle, just like the Tory Burch bag. I like the zipper compartments and everything. So, and so you can button it here and you can button it here like that so it's a really really cute classy bag i really like this bag i thought something fell i don't know um let me see so that bag is called called coach town bucket bag and uh, that bag is actually on clearance at the coach clearance store well it was when i purchased it it was on clearance uh so i know i didn't pay over uh 250 dollars for it so uh my next item is the versace sunglasses so the name of these sunglasses they, it's like a letter and some numbers. It's like a code. I don't know. I didn't, didn't give them a name. But uh, they come in the box. And then they also come in the uh, the glass case. The sunglass case. So, so these are the ones that I wore uh, to Dubai. And they have the little um, Versace logo. These are the women's style. And I never took the stick out. I never take this stick out unless it starts to peel. So, okay, so back to what I was saying. My phone rung, so I had to answer my phone. But anywho, these glasses here I wore to Dubai. And they have the Versace logo on them here. And I think I'm going to end up selling these glasses soon. I haven't, I hadn't had them long, that long. I got them like around February, right before my birthday. So I think I'm going to end up selling these glasses, but they are still really, really cute. And I didn't really wear them much. So that's how they look. Okay. So. The next item here. So my next item is my Louis Vuitton uh, sunglasses. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? This is not supposed to be here. We're gonna get back to this later. So we're gonna get back to these later. So, the next item is going to be my MCM scarf here. And I got this scarf specifically to wear to Dubai because in Dubai, the women there, they're all covered up. Um, the Americans are the ones who are not. So in certain spaces, I wanted to be covered up because I just wanted to take part in the the uh, culture there. So uh, like if I went to a place where there's mostly um, 
people there who are a Muslim or, you know, the people that are actually from Dubai, I will wear my scarf. But if I went to a place where that's mostly Americans, then, of course, I wouldn't, you know, wear a headdress or anything like that. But I definitely wanted to participate in the culture. I thought it was an, an amazing experience. And I'm actually going to do a... I'm actually going to make a vlog of my trip to Dubai. So this is the scarf. It's really long. So it's folded a few times and it came out so nicely. It looked really, really classy. So there's that. And what's next? The next item I'm gonna show y'all is my Barberry London scarf. It's like a reversible, it's a reversible, Barberry check reversible scarf. So this is the scarf and I thought this was really cute the way the, um, the, the lady who was like showing me the item, she tried it on and it was so cute the way she tried it on. Like you could wear it as like a headband. You could wear it around your neck and you could wear it on either side. So I only wore it once. I'm going to wear it again. I just haven't. Sometimes I forget I have stuff. So, so I, it's really cute. And that over there. So my next item is my Burberry Hackerberry bag. That's what this bag is called, a Burberry Hackerberry bag. So this bag I thought was so cute because of the strap. I love the way the strap is so thick. It looks like a belt. So it's like a crossbody um, bag. I'm going to attach it real quick. So most of the bags that I got this year are crossbody. So I won't be getting any, uh, I mean, bags that I got last year are crossbody. So I won't be purchasing any crossbody bags this year because I have enough crossbody bags. And I like crossbody bags because for one, they're not as expensive as the full, full size bags. And for two, like when I go on vacation, they're easier to keep up with. Like, I don't have to sit them down. I can have my bag on the whole time without eating, walking, whatever I'm doing. I can still have my bag on. So, this is the bag here. And this is... Let me show you. So, you could extend the strap here. Okay, so... The strap could be extended or it could be like a uh, smaller. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see how it is, but it's really cute on. Uh, so I'm going to show y'all. I like that it has like the Barberry logo there. And it also has a little zipper and two compartments. It also has a place for you to keep your cards in there you can see but it also has a place like a few little card slits in there so you can keep your cards in there so yeah that's that bag and let's see so next i'm gonna go into some shoes yeah i'm gonna do some shoes So the first pair of shoes I'm going to show y'all are my little bitsons. So I got these last year and I wanted a pair of little bitsons that were like really classy so I could like wear them with a lot of different pieces that, that were not like really like sparkly or anything like that. And I don't really like sparkly shoes or anything like that. I like my shoes to be really like calm most of the time <laughs> but um these are like really classic the heel aren't is not uh really tall and i wore it only i wore them only once and 
I didn't uh, get any other paint removed, so I'm happy about that. I need to get a protector. I think I'm going to get a protector. And uh, these are really comfortable because all the other Louboutins that I've um, tr had and tried on, uh, they are not comfortable. They are not comfortable at all. So I wanted a pair that were really comfortable, really classy. I could wear them with almost anything. So you can't go wrong with a pair of black Louboutins. And these are, I'm about to butcher this name, but they are the Pig Alley 85 Napa Shiny in black. Pig Alley. <laughs> when the, the associate said the name, I'm like, okay, I, I'm not going to repeat that too much. But yeah, those. that's that. Okay, hopefully uh, this video doesn't go over too long. Um, my next item is Versace. And these are called, these are called what? Mm. Versace Medusa Rubber Thong Slides. So I wore these in Dubai as well. I also wore them a few times to the pool. They're like pool slides. So, uh, these are the Versace Medusa Rubber Thongs. And they're really durable. Like, they're really, it's hard to, like, damage these. And I'm really hard on my designer items. It's crazy. Not on purpose, but I'm just really hard on stuff. Uh, like, my shoes. Like, I don't know. Like, it's weird. But these are really hard to uh, mess up. So, uh, my next shoes are the Dior. So, these are the 74 Beat in Indigo Blue. These were really popular. I wanted the, I originally wanted the the classic Dior logo, but they were sold out when I bought these. I bought these, like, February right before my birthday my birthday is in March so I went to Cancun for my birthday last year and I wore these and look how rough and I also wore them to Miami <laughs> so these but the front still looks good front still looks really good so that's a good thing That these are still so cute. Um, let's see what else. What do we have next? Gucci. Gucci Hoochie. Let's see. Oh. So these here, I got these right before we went to Dubai for my husband's birthday. And I wanted these so bad. I had some, and I'm like, I have to have them. I saw them in Saks, and Saks didn't have my size. So I was like hoping that when I went to the Gucci store, they had them, and they did. So these, uh, this is a little duster bag here. And these are the shoes. These are just so classy to me. I really, really like, I really like these so much. They're just so classy. And they have like that little woven material there. So, these are called, let's see, GG Matte Lassie. <laughs> Matt Lassie canvas shoes. Look, I ain't gonna keep on trying to pronounce this stuff. Yeah, I just don't have to understand that. So, um, the next item is Prada. Prada, baby. Is it? Yeah, Prada. This is my first Prada purchase, and I 
purchased this for my birthday, right, right before my birthday. This is one of my gifts to myself last year for my birthday. And I was so excited to get this bag because it was like, I kept seeing it over and over. And I'm like, I have to have that bag. Okay, I had to have the bag. I mean, I couldn't resist. So, this is how the bag comes. It comes in so many different pieces. So, it also has like this little, what do you call it? Key ring here where you can put your key ring in there. And it's the nylon bag. So, it doesn't have any compartments. This is like the only purse that I have that doesn't have compartments. So it has a little private logo in there here. And it also has it on the inside of the lining. The bag lining it has Prada everywhere. So you really have to put this purse together the way you want. That's how it works. Okay, y'all. Everybody keep calling my phone. So I keep having these interruptions in my video. So I'm trying to get through it before somebody else calls, y'all. Okay okay so i was describing the prada bag so it comes in uh, so many different pieces so that's why y'all you probably see people carrying it differently like because you don't have to use all the pieces that come with the bag so let's go here so it comes with this piece which um a lot of people carry this this strap with the bag and it's adjustable it, it i love this part of it this is also on the boots i was like i really wanted a pair of prada boots but i probably never really wear them but maybe once a year or something so um and i don't want to spend that much money for a pair of boots and i'm gonna wear one but anywho this here comes with the bag. And so you just strap it on. You can strap it on here. Ah, oh, come on, people, please. Okay, here we go. So this is, this is how I like to carry mine with the little bag in front. And it also comes with a little chain. So I like to carry all the pieces on there. <laughs> I carry everything. Some people only carry it with this chain. And they don't carry the uh, the big black strap that I just added. So this is how I like to carry mine. But again, you can carry it with just a little thin chain. Let me take this off. I like stuff like this. I really like stuff like this. So you could carry it like this. Or you could take this little key ring thing off here and just carry it with the, the chain. So this purse is really adjustable and it's so cute. So let's see what else we have here. Put that there. So my other Prada item, I keep them together so I won't lose anything. Is my Prada logo bucket hat. And this is also nylon and it's super cute. I actually lost this hat in Miami. It flew out of the window. <laughs> And my husband and his friend went to go walk down. I thought it was over for the hat. I had already counted it done. It was wrapped. And um, his friend decided to go look and see if it was still in the street where it had flown out the window at. And it was. So, shout out to him for that. Put this back in here. So they found my hat. I'm thankful. I'm very much so thankful. I'm very much so thankful. 
But uh, let's see what's next. Um, Saint Laurent Lau Met Let Look. <laughs> I'm not gonna be trying to sit up here and describe that and uh, pronounce that. That that was too much. That was team too much. And we got to get on with the video. So this is my, is it upside down? It is. St. Laurent bag. I showed this in a previous uh, video here. I tried to describe it, y'all. I did. I tried to describe it, y'all. Ain't gonna have me up in here sounding crazy. So it comes with the duster, of course. And this purse is so classy, so pretty. And the chain, it's always so shiny. Y'all can't really see how this chain is really, like, shining. Like, it is so pretty. And it has this back pocket here. And it has... It's good to put your stuffing back in your bags. If you ain't know that, it keeps your bags sturdy and not looking off flimsy. So it has a little card area back there and it says St. Laurent, the, the logo, well, the name. And sides. It's really pretty. Let's see, put that back in there. I showed y'all the little card case here. So it's just a simple card case there. I showed y'all this stuff already. So we're gonna try to hurry because I don't want this video to be too long. I mean, some people like to sit and pay attention to a long video. Some people are like, oh my gosh, how long is it gonna be? They lose lose uh focus really quickly so what's next oh, let's see. so my next bag is i think this is the last bag as well and i don't know why they didn't give me a box i think they just put this in a bag when i bought the gucci shoes i bought this bag as well but i don't know why i let her just put this in my bag without putting it in a box so now I don't have a box for this bag, which irks my nerves right now. So let me go back. And it, I don't, she didn't even put it in a duster. I think she just put it in a bag, which is really, really making me feel some type of way. But anyway, moving forward, this is called the Gucci Ophidae. <laughs> Ophidae. GG mini bag. If y'all know how to pronounce it, go ahead and pronounce it, honey, because look, I done butchered it. So, this bag is a crossbody bag, and I wore this in Dubai a lot. I like to wear it whenever I wear the color brown. I think it just looks so cute and mini, and you could go anywhere. You don't have to have anything large, a big bag, or anything. This this bag is really easy to carry crossbody. So I just carry it right around my head and it's so cute. It has the vintage um, pattern and the red and green here. It also has the little card areas inside and that's the back. So this is a really cute bag and it was really inexpensive. I mean, I thought it was, it, it wasn't that much. It didn't cost as much as a lot of the Gucci bags. So, my next item is the Versace robe. Uh, some people saw me post this on on Facebook uh, where I bought, I gave my husband his robe uh, before his birthday. So, I got us matching robes. This was one of my gifts to him for his birthday. And I got black. If y'all haven't noticed, I really love black. That's my aesthetic. Okay. 
So, I got us the black and gold robes. We can match. And I don't want to take this robe out. Yeah, like y'all saw this robe a million times. A million times. So, that's it. I got it in a size medium. I got his in a size large. And let's see. So, now I'm going to go into my Christmas gifts. And, oh, let me put this right here. You know, I just want to speak to gifts, okay? Because my husband and I, we were talking about uh, how how I don't do no, um, <laughs> what you call it? Oh, I don't do no thought that counts gifts. Like, I do not do it's the thought that counts gifts. I don't let nobody give me it's the thought that counts gifts anymore. Because what I've learned over the years is... It's the it's the thought that counts really means that they ain't really put too much thought in it at all. So I'm like, hold that thought, you know, don't give me a, a it's the thought that counts gift. I don't want it. Just keep it. Give it to somebody else. Like, because a lot of times when people be like, oh, uh, the person just needs to be thankful. It's the thought that counts. I really don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't agree. I don't agree with it. I'm like, just hold the thought. Would well, just wish me a Merry Christmas. I'm fine with that. Just wish me a Merry Christmas. And that's good enough for me. Because I feel like when you give somebody a gift, you should actually put thought into it. That doesn't mean that you have to spend a lot of money. Just think about that person that you're giving a gift to. Like, say, for instance, if you see somebody that you work with and they always bring in a cup of Starbucks coffee. So you could say, OK, I'm going to get her a Starbucks card, 10 or 15 dollars. Me, that's good because I love going to Starbucks and I'm like, OK, she really paid attention. She really, uh, you know, she got me something that I would use, something that I like. You know, that's good for me. Say, for instance, they don't like Starbucks and they got a car, a gas card, 10, 15, 20, 20 dollar gas card. Give somebody a gas card. You don't have to spend that much just to actually put some thought into a gift. You don't have to spend much. And if you can't afford at least 15 or 20 dollars to get a gift then just tell them merry christmas and and that's good like don't give somebody some trash you know i had somebody give me some trash i ain't gonna say no name but it went directly into the trash okay look at me now come on now have i ever shown interest in football or <laughs> Like, I like football when my team is winning, which is the Houston, Texas, and they really never really win. So, I had somebody give me, like, a Saints glass that had dust dust in it. Like, it had been sitting up on the counter for a long time. Now, why would you give me that, of all people? Come on now. I, I, I like to think that when I give a gift to somebody, it's a reflection of how I feel about you, like... If I get you something like a Starbucks card, that it, because I've seen you drink Starbucks, okay, I paid attention to you. You know, I actually put thought into that gift, into that gift. Uh, you know, if you give them like perfume or something like that, it's something that I would like to receive as a gift. Uh, you know, Stop re-gifting and giving people stuff that you don't want, trash, junk, stuff like that. That's that's That makes me feel like, okay, this is what you think about me. You give me something that's dirty. You give me, you know what I mean? That's really shady. You know what I mean? So I don't even accept it's the thought that counts. And I'm just talking about it because it just came to mind that we were talking about, um, uh, how I, I don't accept them type of gifts. And you can call me bougie or whatever. I do not accept a thought. It's the thought that counts. If you didn't actually put a little bit of thought into it, then keep, just keep it. Just go ahead and keep it. Because I'm going to tell you, it'll, it'll go in the trash. It'll go directly in the trash. It won't even skip. 
a beat. I'm sorry. Like, don't give me no trash. Don't give me nothing that you wouldn't want. Don't give me nothing that's dirty, that's dusty, that you had sitting on the counter like, oh, I'm going to just give her this. No. Come on now. Let's be real. <laughs> no. But anywho, going into my Christmas gift that I got this year from my husband, he actually paid attention. He actually listened to what I was talking about. But he 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 does a good job with getting gifts. So when we were in Dubai, I was like, I want the Yeezys, I want the black ones. And they were trying to charge me a thousand dollars. It's expensive in Dubai. I don't know whoever said that it wasn't or it was cheap or you can get this cheap or that cheap. It's all a lot. Everything is more expensive in Dubai. Everything is more expensive in Dubai. Like I think the only thing that I got that was a lip priced a little bit lower than here was like some hair bundles. And they were just a tad bit lower than here. A tad bit, not much. Like um I got one bundle for I think it was like forty dollars and I think it was like um twenty inches. And so, you know, it wasn't that much less than it is here but it was of course in uh, dubai currency but when you did do the math it was like about 40 dollars for that bundle and i think i got like six bundles so in the end it, it wasn't that wasn't that cheap wasn't that much off and i had to talk him down to that price okay so dubai is very expensive and so my husband got me these because I, I was going to spend a thousand dollars on them in Dubai. And he was like, no, no. And so they're the exact color that I wanted. The black ones. I like, yes, these are the ones that I wanted. So that, that was my gift from my husband, from my honey. And I'm going to show y'all the gift that I got myself. And I'm going to tell y'all, it is really, really important to get yourself something. Get what you want. Get what you really want. Get what you really like. It doesn't have to be anything expensive because you may not be into that. But get you something that you are going to appreciate and that you want and that you put off and put off. And, you know, just do something nice for yourself. So, what I got for myself is this. Look how big the box is. Yes, I love a good box, honey. A good box. So, I have been wanting these for some time. I've been wanting these for a few years, actually. Like, I think my first time seeing them in person was when I went to... Um, Hollywood to LA and we went into the Louis store on Rodeo Drive and I saw these in the store and I was like "Ooh, I want them but I couldn't afford them so they were always in the back of my mind so I finally got them I finally got them so these are Look at them! <laughs> they are so cute. They are so cute. They are so me. Like, this is me. This is my style. I like, like, I'm, look, I'm like classy, but I'm also a little rough. And, of course, they have the black. Like, these are, this is my style. I love these. I really like these, rather. <laughs> so... I got this. What are they called? <laughs> got what they called. Ah, uh, which ones are these? Ah, uh, let me see. I may have to look them up for the good people. Let me see if I can look them up really, really quickly. Uh, let's see. See if I can find them and look them up. I don't know how I forgot to look them up for y'all. Okay, I found them. They're called Lorette Platform Desert Boots. 
and I got them in the color black. Mm. Lorette, I may be pronouncing it wrong, Platform Desert. So, yeah, yeah. This is one of my gifts that I got for myself. Uh, I also got myself a couple of other gifts for Christmas. So, the other gift that I was about to show y'all earlier <laughs> that I got for myself that I didn't. So, let me show y'all this. Okay. So, this here is the... What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay. The Louis V sunglasses. And they're called Evidence. And these are the bomb. The ones I really wanted was the ones that all the celebrities had have been wearing. And they have the little diamond right in the middle. But they have been sold out way before Christmas. They, I have, I've been trying to get them glasses and they still sold out. So every time I guess they restock, they end up selling them out again. So I couldn't get my hands on those, but I did get these. And I don't know, I feel like I feel like these are more me for some reason. Maybe it is because of the gold, but I feel like these are like lux, like lux, lux. Okay. So these are the ones that I got, and they have the little um, symbol right there at the top. And they're gold all up here. And they have the Louis V logo right here and there. And these are so sexy, so classy. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, honey, hold up. Like, I really feel like a baddie with these on, honey. Like, they are just... They're just sexy, real sexy, okay? So yeah, I like these, okay? So, oh, I put them in here, they go in here. I had to wait in line for the longest time. So now I got me associate there. So next time I go, I am not waiting in line at all, at all, like, at all so let me tell you so i'm gonna show y'all my last gift that i bought for myself it just came in not too long ago because i guess it got caught up in the last christmas things that was being shipped or delivered but i wanted to tell y'all that this little three-piece set i have on right here is from fashion over i'm gonna do a fashion over haul because and I gotta tell y'all what happened with Fashion Nova. I may never shop with them again. I am so serious. And I got my little cremation jewelry on. Look how cute. Yes. Yeah, no, I don't care. But anyways, let me show you my last gift. Okay. So I haven't shown nobody this gift. Like this gift. I had to have it. Like, it wasn't like I could have let it pass by and I would have been fine without it. I had to have this, okay? I couldn't, I could not go without having it. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, okay, so I'm going to show y'all what, what I got. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so, this is what I got. I ordered this online i didn't go in the store because they didn't have it at the store and i was so happy that i called the store before i drove all the way to the galleria and they did not have it but something told me it's gonna be sold out it's gonna be sold out so i called and just that, like i thought it was sold out okay but they had it online and i'm so thankful because i could not resist so this is the packaging right here. And they send all your little information, all your receipts and everything in there. So, yes. 
It has a little Fendi bow. So let me show y'all what your girl got. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, here we go. Yes! <laughs> so, if y'all don't know, um, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? The rapper, Lil Dirk. He proposed to his fiance, India, and she had this on. And I was like, I gotta have it. It is so pretty and classy. I was like, I must have this thing. Okay. So I just want to close this video out, video out correctly today because sometimes i just let the video in today i want to close it out properly and i just want to thank you all for watching and i just want to say y'all please like share and subscribe so i can grow my channel and if you like the content i'm putting out there let me know if you want to see me do something a certain type of content let me know and um thank you all for watching Thank y'all for taking time out of y'all day to sit down and watch me. I am trying to grow this channel. I am going to be posting it more often. Um, so my next videos are going to be either Fashion Nova, a perfume haul, or Amazon haul. So again, Happy New Year. And thank you guys for watching.